Hey everyone, it's Alex from Hammer and Ironworks, and today I'll be making ball peen hatchets. I just grabbed three ball peen hammers because that's all they had. I picked them up from Walmart for about four fifty. They're just eight ounce hammers. Uh, they're by Hypertough, and this should be a hardenable steel because I don't see any kind of welding on these hammers. So they make pretty awesome hatchets. I'm making three different styles. But the problem is that, as you can see here, they just have the filled in tops. And so I'm going to be removing these uh, tops with a chisel and maybe a drill and whatever else I need to get them out. But I should have the head separate and I'll be forging them later on in the video. And then I'll be taking uh, just some sandpaper and sanding down these handles because they're like super smooth. And that's not always great because you could lose control. And that's not the point of having a hatchet. You want to be accurate with them. And so I'll get back to you when I start forging. All right, so hey everyone, I'm back. And now I'm actually at, out at my forge. It's Friday morning and I got all the handles off the three hammers, as you can see right here. I was able just to drill a couple holes in them and then take a chisel and split all of them out. And then I took uh, a little Dremel tool and cleaned out the inside so they were the original shape. There's still a bunch of little like Epoxy and whatever they use to secure the hammers to them, but they burn out in the forge Now don't leave a whole bunch of it in there because it could be very toxic, but right now I have just one of them in the fire This one's the first one. This is the second hammer. That's going to be an axe.
most of the shape I want. My problem is it's a little twisted, so I'm gonna fix that next. And there's a little cold shut in the top of the axe, but I'll be able to grind it out with an angle grinder. As you can see, it's in close, but it's not quite there. And a cold chest developing on the top, but I'll be able to also grind that out with an angle grinder. All right, guys, these are the two hatchets I made. They're definitely not uh, perfect. These are the very first two I've ever made. This is the first one. Looks a little bit better, but it's got a twist in it. This one has no twist in it, but it, I didn't get enough uh, time forging it because my fire died and I actually have to go to work. So I'm gonna just grind these with an angle grinder quick before I leave, and I'll give you an update then. All right, a little shop date before I go inside. I actually laid out a bunch of more uh, panels down here. You can kind of see with this light gray one right here. It's the old ones. These are the new ones. They used to be rock right here. And so now it's way more convenient because I have a much bigger space to walk around and put things on. All right, there's the finished tomahawks, um, ball peen tomahawks. As you can see, they were forged from a ball peen hammer. All right, hey guys. This is the end of the hatchets for at least this video. I think I'll make this uh, two parts. Uh, the second part will be showing how to uh, fix and correct the crookedness of the head because as you can see, it's very crooked. Um, and then I'll be taking the ball peen part and I'll actually be putting another blade on the end so it actually stick both ways. Even if I have it rotated uh, 180 degrees from this way into a tree and so I'll stick either way but as you can see they had their fun this weekend this one I actually snapped after the second throw it glanced the tree at an awkward angle and it snapped in half but it, it's been glued and electrical tape back together and this one broke after probably three or four hours of use they did stick in the rotting tree pretty well uh, we probably got a total of, I don't know, maybe 60 to 70 sticks in the tree, and we had a blast throwing them. I think they would work way better if I put a blade on the other end and I did straighten them. They also might throw a little bit better because they throw a little wonky. I think it's just the way it uh, cuts into the air and how the air catches it. Quick side note, if anyone knows how to uh, take coal and break it down efficiently and doesn't take too much time and doesn't create a giant mess please drop a comment in the comment section below because my fire did die when I was making these and I have a I think or my belief is the coal is just too big for the forge um, other than that I think it's about it please drop a like uh, leave a comment if you'd like and subscribe see everybody next time and see you later